Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some uh, some tips and tricks in creating a split screen uh, in video in Filmora 9. So I know that I have some other tutorial about split screen. Uh, you can check it out here or here, or you can go to the link in the description. And this is the uh, this is a tip uh, that help you create your own split screen video using Filmora 9 and you have more rooms to, to control the color of your uh, borders and also add emotion and also create uh, create the different kind of shape for your split screen video inside Filmora 9. Okay, so like the, like the example I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial. Okay, so let's go to the, to the software. Okay. And here I am inside Filmora 9. So as you can see that there's some uh, example here. So this is the first example. I have one video of me uh, at the center of the screen uh, with with well, I don't know what what this uh, kind of shape uh, with this shape and four uh, four other images uh, uh, just uh, in the frame on the screen. And uh, to create this, so this is uh, not the same with uh, any template inside Filmora 9. For example, if we click OK and go to split screen, and here you can see uh, all of these uh, templates is different. It is not uh, the same with this. And the second one is uh, uh, this template. Uh, no, uh, this one. Uh, no, this one. This one with uh, one video on the left and uh, three other on the on the right. And you can use image or, or video, it's up to you. And the, the last one, uh, this kind of uh, similar to a Facebook, uh, Facebook advertisement I saw uh, on my, um, my phone. Uh, they they use uh, one video on the left and uh, a three image of the product on the right and also at, the, at their phone number and uh, contact, how to contact, uh, contact them, contact information. So we're going to uh, create one of them so I, I will tell you the basic and also uh, show you how to do this okay and this one uh, so okay so let's delete everything on the timeline uh, let's delete it and of course you need uh, your media file maybe video images or you know, something uh, right uh, in this example I will use this is a video this is uh, one of my video and this is uh, some image of me but before before creating uh, anything I want to check the aspect ratio to, just to make sure that um, you know, we have the right aspect ratio and project setting okay so let's go to file and go to project setting and here in, in this example I will uh, make a video for YouTube so uh, we go with uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio at this point and resolution is 1080p and also I change the frame rate to 24 frames per second that is the project setting and now here is the screen that we need to create uh, four image of me uh, one two three four and one one video uh, at the middle in the middle of the screen so firstly let's drag and drop one of my image onto the timeline any position any track and the first thing I notice is that if I want to uh, to put it at the at one corner on the screen, uh, so I just uh, need to scale it down uh, by fifty percent. So that is the first option, and the second option you can also crop it, uh, crop the image by fifty percent to any 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 size you want. Okay, so in this example, I just uh, uh, scale it down. So uh, let's double click on that and go to transform. Uh, click on the image and then go to transform and then here we have the scale value is 100 percent we just uh, need to scale it to 50 percent to to make it on uh, on one corner of the screen okay and let's click okay so here it is it is in the center but we need to move it uh to the left to the left corner okay and now we need uh, three more image uncle so this one and this one and this one i select all of them all the uh, three of them okay and let's drag it and drop it on the timeline i think uh, i mean any any track on any track maybe we can just uh drag it down here to this track and drag it down here to this track so all we all we need to do is just just scale uh scale all these three images by uh, 50 percent okay and uh, let's select all of them and Double click on them and then go to scale 
and change it to 50 and let's click OK okay just one of them and we can uh, copy the effect of all the image and then paste now that's also scale down the image by 50 percent okay and now just uh, put it on the car at the position you want so on the left corner and right corner so just make sure that uh, it's lined up perfectly okay and let's see so it's okay and now we need another another video here right and this is a video so we need to put this on top track so let's drag and drop it to the top track and uh, I'm going to uh, split it so the duration is equal to all the image let's split it and delete the, the one that I don't uh, really need okay so now in this case I want to uh, to have I, I want to have a, a special shape uh, that is the the image uh, mask I use for this image uh, by the way I need to uh, mute the audio first okay and this at this time and now I'm going to effect and then uh, go to utilities and then we have an image mask here and then just drag and drop it uh, on the on the first video the video in the middle okay so now you see the mask here is a circle now we need to change it to the shape uh, that we want. Uh, let's double click on the video and uh, here not the transform but at the video tab and then you go to video effect okay and now we have an image match here we can enable and disable it right if we uh, enable it it will be the circle like this and now we have a shape here but uh, anyway you can choose any shape you, you like uh, for, for this example I choose this shape okay and now uh, click OK and now I, th I think I also need to scale this down because it's too big and I can select it and just maybe drag and drop it right here is also okay to scale to scale the video or image but uh, okay let's just uh, go to the transform tab again double click on that and go to the transform tab again here we have the, the position that change so we can just uh, uh, re reset it to the normal position and then scale it down to 50 percent let's see if, if it works uh, 50 percent okay so 50 percent at the center I think it's it's fine right okay so it's fine we have one uh, one video in in the center of the uh, the screen and four image around it and now we need to add border to uh, to all all of this image and video like the uh, like split screen template in Fimura 9 it's very easy for the first one let's click OK and go to the effect again and go to the uh, included and utility again okay and here we have a border border effect and then we can drag and drop it on the video so we have a border here and remember you can always change the size of the border and the color by double click on the uh, on the clip on the timeline just double click on that and go to the video and then go to the video effect again here we have video effect right and you can select video effect and uh, go to the border now you can change the size the colors and also the blur and opacity of the border and also the direction of the mm, direction uh, of the the color like this the color start and end okay and now for example I can change the, the color to something pinky like this that is a start uh, and also I can adjust the end if I want and also adjust the size the size of the border if I want okay but no I just uh, want to reset it to uh, normal so it, it has the same size uh, with other other border for on the uh, on on the default image okay let's click OK and for the image we do the same we just drag and drop the border Row it and here we have and here we have and another border and let's okay let's see we finish so if you see that it's very easy right and remember all this image and video you is the same the same the same uh, with other image and video on the timeline when you drag and drop it onto the timeline in Primora 9 I hope it makes sense uh, meaning that you can change the color 
uh, add uh, special effect, uh, add motion, and also add transition to to all of this image. For example, if I want to have my video in the center, just uh, have some motion. I can double click on the video. Double click on the video, and we will see see the property here, or the pro property here, so video, audio, color, and motion. So we can add motion to it. For example, boom, boom. So that's that's similar to the uh, the animation effect in the split screen template in Filmora 9. So that is one way, and this is just one template. I can show you how to create. Uh, do the same to create another template like uh, what you see at the beginning of the video so let's click ok and now uh, we are going to create a, a template for a video here and three images uh, on this side so we do the same and this time uh, we click on the media and then we drag and drop it drag and drop the video on the on the timeline first uh, let's say here and now I want to to have half side of the screen uh, playing my video so uh, this time I will click uh, click on the video a video track on the timeline and then I go to crop uh, see that we so now we can uh, adjust the size of the video or crop the si uh, crop the size of the video uh, just the same and we can select custom here and adjust the uh, crop area like this okay so whatever size you want to to crop it's okay then click ok go back to the timeline right so here we have a, a crop area and then we can move it to the left no it's too much uh, go back okay so this is the, the the first video right and we need to add uh, some image here for example two image uh, right here at the, this position two or three is up to you and then we click ok and then we just uh, drag and drop the image of me because I use image is better because uh, otherwise I use video then it's just play it a little bit uh, distracted distracting yeah and another image of me right and now we can drop do the same do the same trick to crop the image if we want and we can also scale it down so for example in this video I just uh, want to scale it down by 50% uh, like the one and the other is also 50% now we have two image here and then we can just line up the image on the left side and this one on down below oh okay it doesn't fit okay so just move it down a little bit and then this one move it down a little bit all right so now we have we have an, a video here and the image here then we can adjust the crop area uh, adjust the size of the video like this so this this is perfect then we can add a border for that and go back and do the same trick uh, let's select the effect and then add a border and uh, add a border and add a border for the video see that so now you have a, a video on the left side and uh, two image on the right side uh, with border so similar to split screen uh, template we I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial so that is how you can uh, create uh, your own split screen video inside Filmora 9. It is very easy. Just one thing you remember. Uh, one thing to uh, remember before adding the uh, image uh, mask or, or adding the border effect into your video or image. If you want to crop, you need to do, uh, to do the crop before applying the border and image effect uh, in, in your image and video. All right. So that's how you can do that. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.